this is, well this is a foot, but this video is a short addendum to the two foot muscle videos. Mike from Germany asked, um, where are the chiasma plantari and the chiasma crurali? To which I thought, uh... Now, Kayaz, what, what he's asking about are the crossings of the tendons around here. One of those is in the foot here, which is why it's relevant, and one of them is just uh, proximal to the ankle. Uh, chiasma means crossing. I'm sure you know about the optic chiasm, where the optic nerves cross, right? So it's where these tendons cross. Uh, plantari refers to the plantar foot. Uh, cruris, crura, crura refers to the leg, right? Crus, leg. So they're Crus is Latin, plantar is Latin, chiasma is Greek. <laughs> anyway, right, are they on these models? I'm gonna take this apart to get to the calf. Right, okay, so we take the calf muscles off. So we're going, we're going into the deep leg, right? Um, so we're looking at the, the deep leg. Now there's the big toes, this is medial. Now there's three muscles in the deep leg here in this posterior compartment. Ignore the, the fibula muscles. Now I know that Flexor hallucis longus, the muscle that's going to the big toe, is actually furthest away from the big toe, so on the other side. So that's flexor hallucis longus. This muscle here in the middle that's covered by the artery and the nerve, that's going to be tibialis posterior, and this muscle here is going to be flexor digitorum longus coming round to the toes, and we saw those tendons when we looked at the plantar foot. The, the chiasma cruris or chiasma crurale is where the tendon of tibialis posterior crosses the tendon of flexor digitorum longus and that is happening here. And, uh, and so the reason those two tendons cross is because they start on one side of each other and then they cross to go to the opposite size. Tibialis po posterior sends out a whole bunch of tendons around here. So they, that's why they cross. Does that make sense? Whoop. So this is the crossing of these two tendons just proximal to the ankle. Tick. Next. Um, this muscle, the foot doesn't come apart, so we're going to have to go to the other one, right? Okay, so, so we can see that chiasma cruris or crurali here. Now, chiasma plantari is where the tendons of flexor digitorum longus and flexor hallucis longus cross in the plantar foot, right? So I've dissected away that first layer of muscles that we looked at the other week. Uh, here's the tendon of flexor hallucis longus going to the big toe. Here's the tendon of flexor digitorum longus going to the other toes. And as we just saw, flexor hallucis longus and flexor digitorum longus start off on opposite sides of the, of the deep calf, right? Of the deep leg. Um, so these two, Oh, pop. So if I take off that bit of calf, and now I've taken two models apart and they're in bits, so I'm going to get in a right mess putting these together, aren't I? So as I said, there's the big toe. So the muscle furthest over there is, that's, that's flexor hallucis longus. Tibialis posterior is under there. Flexor digitorum longus is over here. So these two are going like this. And then again, they're going to cross because One's going to go to the big toe, one's going to go to all the other toes, right? So they cross here. And that is all there is to it, okay? So a little addendum to the stuff we've done over the last couple of weeks. It's not something I ever cover in teaching normally. Um, but there you go, ticked. Don't think this is, this is gonna count as a weekly video, is it? It's gonna count as an extra little one. So I'll see you next week in another full video. Ta-ta.